Hey musicians around the world, I'm Steve Klusner from steveknbass.com. Welcome to Bass Guitar 101 Part 2. This is Bass Guitar 101 Part 2. If you haven't seen the first part, I suggest you go back and look at that before moving on to Part 2. I'll put a link below in the description box for you so you can check that out. Now to review real quick, in the first part, I uh, told you where all the natural notes are on the bass neck. We discussed a C major scale, all the corresponding chords that are in a C major scale. Um, we went over major and minor triads. That's what we'd be playing as bass players. And here are all the major and minor triads in there. And we also discussed chord progressions, one, four, five, one, five, six, four, one, six, four, five, all in the C major scale. Now, if you remember, we also number the scale, and the major scale has a di distinct pattern. Okay, and this is the pattern. If I lay that over C, there's your C major scale. And you notice the C major scale has all natural notes. Now, I could take the same pattern and move it over to G, and there's your G major scale, but if you notice, the seventh note of a G major scale doesn't land on a natural F. This is going to be F sharp. So G major would have F sharp in it. I can move this anywhere. I can move this to B. Okay, now if I move it over B, that's your finger pattern, but you're going to have C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, and A sharp. Okay? Now, we're dealing with C major, and C major has all natural notes. Now, what I'm going to teach you now is the relative minor. All right, so I just gave you a couple of words that are new to you, minor and relative. All right, so what's the difference between major and minor? A major chord sounds happy, minor chord sounds more sad. All right. Now, what does relative mean? Well, you and your brothers and sisters are relatives. You share the same DNA. With a relative scale, it's going to share the same exact notes. So, we're in C major. All the notes are natural. So, all the notes in the relative minor are going to be natural. Now, this is real easy to find out the relative minor of C major. All we're going to do is go to the sixth note. Here's your major, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. You see I have numbers next to them. We're going to go to the sixth note. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's A. So the relative minor to C major is going to be A. And the minor scales are also going to have distinct patterns. All right, so this is the pattern for a minor scale. If I put that right over the bass neck, now you can see everything is a natural note. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. There's no sharps or flats. So the relative minor to C major is A minor. And I'm going to teach you the A minor scale right now. We're going to go over the triads and the corresponding chords. And we're going to do some playing. So let's get to it. All right, so now we're going to work with the A minor scale. And again, here's your finger pattern for the A minor. So we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to number them. Okay? So there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, so just like we did in the first video with the major scale, these are all the corresponding chords to the A minor scale. Okay, so these are the chords a guitar player might be playing over this scale. And we're also using major and minor triads. So these are the minor and major triads that we're going to be playing within the scale. And we're going to get to that right now. All right, I'm going to show you the A minor scale right now, but first I want to play you a major chord 
and a minor chord so you could hear the difference. This is a major chord. This is a minor chord. So the difference is subtle, but this is more happy. And this is kind of sad. Okay, now let's get on to playing the minor scale. Now, the minor scale is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. That's A minor. So play it along with me. Now we'll go backwards. Go up the scale one more time. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we're going to go over the chords and the corresponding triads. Here we go. I moved over to guitar because I want you to hear what the corresponding chords in A minor sound like on guitar. Okay, so we have A minor. Next chord is B diminished. Then C major, then D minor, then E minor, then F major, then G major, and then we're at A minor. Okay, so now let's move back to bass and play the triads. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to play the triads that we'd be playing under these chords. Alright, so we're going to start off with A minor. And the triad for A minor is A, C, E, A, C, and E. Next one is B diminished, B, D, F, B, D, and F. Next one is C major, C, E, G, C, E, and G. Next one is D minor, D, F, A, D, F, A. A. Next one is E minor, E, G, B, E, G, and we're going to catch this B up here. Next one is F major, F, A, C, F, A, and C. Next one is G major, G, B, D, G, B, and D. And then we're back to A. So if I play it fast, one more time. Three. All right, now we're going to apply these triads to a chord progression. And what we're going to play is a one, five, six, four. All right. So we're going to play a one, five, six, four. So that's going to be an A minor, an E minor an F major, and then back to D minor. So you're going to be playing the one, which is an A minor triad, the five, which is an E minor triad, the six, which is an F major triad, and then back to the four, which is going to be a D minor triad. All right, so I'm going to color code these. So first one you're going to be playing A, C, and E. Next one I'm going to move to green and that's going to be E, G, B. E, G, I'm going to catch this B up over here. Okay, then we move to the six, 
I'll go to red and that's going to be F A and C and then we are going to move to the 4 which is D minor and we're going to play D F and then A all right, we're going to play this progression, this 1, 5, 6, 4, in 4-4 four, four time. So it's A minor. And then E minor. And then F major. and then D minor. Okay? So I'm going to do it in 4-4 four, four time, and what we're going to play, when we're on the A minor, I want you to play A, C, E, C. One, two, three, four. A, C, E, C. Then we're going to go to the E minor. I want you to play E, G, B, G, and then we're going to go to the F major, F, A, C, A, and then D minor, D, F, A, F. Okay? So again, this is the 1, this is the 5, this is the 6, and this is the 4. Let's play that right now. All right, now we're going to play the 1, 5, 6, 4 progression in A minor. I'm going to play it once, and then you play along with me. Okay, let's play it together now. On my count, 1, 2, 3, 4. line by yourself. One, five, six, four on my count. One, two, three, four. So once you're comfortable playing this one five six four progression and you've mastered playing those triads straight, what I want you to do is I want you to play the same progression, but I want you to change the rhythm up on your right hand. This way we work on the mechanics of your right hand a little bit. So for instance, I'm going to play the same progression and I'm going to use the same triads, but I'm going to give it a different feel. So for example, this is going to have like a blues feel to it. to it, but I'm using the same triads. So 
try a couple of different things on your own. Um, don't worry about making mistakes now. Explore the neck, explore using different notes within the triads, and try playing with different feels. And soon your horizons will broaden and you'll be playing all sorts of things. But try to get comfortable with different rhythms as well while you're using these triads. That's it for this lesson. I hope you learned something. As always, please subscribe and visit me at stevekonbass.com. Lots of cool stuff there. And as always, happy playing. See you next time.